Since classes let out last spring, the Southeastern Athletic Department has been busy trying to build community support for its athletic programs, especially football and new head coach Ron Roberts. The second week of July saw 40 plus players and coaches donate their time and talents to work with young kids at a Ponchatoula Youth Football Camp. It's, it's great to give back to these young guys, but it's, this works. This is very beneficial to our players as well. Opportunity for them to get out there and, and, uh, and share and give back, uh, you know, because most of them, you know, where they got their start, where everything starts in the game of football, most players is youth football. We're just trying to get the kids, you know, be involved in football and just get them active during the summer months when they're usually staying inside and uh, you know playing video games just trying to give them an opportunity to get outside and get some exercise. Sophomore Caleb Muse, a Ponchatoula native, was one of the players helping out of the camp as his former head coach Hank Tierney looked on. Muse worked with the campers as they ran agility drills using tackling dummies. Muse was very excited to be at the camp giving back to his community. It, it means a lot because just being around you know good people it, it builds you with a with a good character you know and all my high school coaches you know like they it really brought the best out of me, all, taught us all the, how to be leaders and everything. So um, these young kids out here, they'll probably be getting the same treatment, same leadership, you know, same examples, and hopefully they'll grow up and be successful. I had the pleasure of meeting Coach Roberts a few weeks ago, and uh, everything about him has been first class, you know, so I'm not surprised. You know, uh, in fact, one of our players from Ponchatoula, Caleb Muse, was out here. You know, Caleb was that kind of a community guy, you know, great team leader. So uh, I look for great things from Southeastern with Coach Roberts and the staff. The half-day camp saw over 100 kids work on their football skills. The Southeastern football players broke into groups and worked with the campers on a position-by-position -position basis. Seniors Devin Walker and Brian Young worked with the campers on their speed and agility through the ropes. And while the campers worked on many different techniques, the sole purpose of the camp was to teach the fundamentals of the game. All you really want to do is learn some fundamentals and have fun. Learn how to listen to your coach, learn how to you know, follow instructions, have a good time. The very next week, Southeastern Athletics kicked off the annual Coaches Caravan with stops slated for Amy, Baton Rouge and Mandeville. All three stops had great support from area fans and alumni. We always look forward to you know, hearing from the coaches um, and the athletic director and those who are uh, very involved in what goes on at Southeastern and bring us a little word about what's happening. We all lead busy lives here in St. Tammany, so it's really nice to bring Southeastern on the road and bring them out to see people, because so many people have a, you know, sometimes have a difficult time getting to Hammond. Well, I think the caravan is a very uh, important part of what we're trying to do as far as getting people excited about the upcoming season. And there's a lot of excitement with all the sports, but especially with the new football staff, it's going to be a, a, real, a real great time at Southeastern. And so these caravans promote not only the coaches, but they promote the fact that we need to get out and buy season tickets, support everybody, and, and it's here. It's right around the corner. The events were organized by alumni chapters and gives the everyday fan a chance to meet and talk to the coaches of Southeastern Athletics. At the Lake House in Mandeville, the crowd was treated to a trio of head coaches. Second-year volleyball coach Gino Fregoli joined head baseball coach J.R. Teagues, who gave the fans an update on what was going on within the baseball program. They want to hear from the coach. We brought the coach many places with us this year already before the caravans. Of course, for the caravans, we have many head coaches. But uh, since Ron Roberts has gotten to town, we brought him to many of our events. The people are very receptive. We hear very positive things, and everybody's looking forward to a fun time. We have a great university. We've got a great community in him. And uh, we're doing everything we can to make sure we provide you with an opportunity to have a team that you're very proud of as soon as possible. Uh, our guys are going to report on uh, August 1, we start practice. We've got about 90 guys in there in July right now. Going to summer school, lifting, working with a strength coach. It's exciting. At the A Meet event, women's basketball coach Lori Davis Jones, as well as head golf coach Tim Baldwin and track and field coach Sean Brady joined Coach Roberts. Kids have done an outstanding, an outstanding job of responding to what we're trying to get done. Um, and, you know, I know uh, this article came out Sunday, probably a big part of it. That, you know, the biggest thing we're trying to change, number one, is the attitude, the attitude among our players. Um, not just the attitude of what you should expect, the expectations of themselves, the expectations of the football team, but also the attitude is, is that we're playing a game. We're supposed to enjoy it out there. The Lions hit the practice fields this week and will work on football as they prepare for the season opener September 1st at Missouri. If you missed the Coaches Caravan, the next public event where you can meet and greet the coaches is August 17th in downtown Hammond for a hot August night.